have to retune her because she, she, this guitar, she doesn't like capos and I need them because I'm a new guitar player. Um, but anyway, this song is a very interesting story. I have a friend that I met, I'm going to start with these strings because these strings are usually happy. Hello. There we go. You're good. You're not good. I have a friend that I met many years ago in dance class. Uh, at the time, she didn't speak a lot of English. She was an, uh, an au pair from Switzerland. But she was just one of those people that I had an instant heart connection with. You know, language was not important. We both loved music, we both loved dance, and we became really best buddies at that point. And so I lost her for a few years. You know, she, she got another assignment in Berlin, and was coming down and all this stuff happened and you know we had been writing to each other but then I toured for a few years with a guitar player by the name of Richie Blackmore so like, there you go I toured with him for two years and I had you know we had fans and the name of the group was Blackmore's Night it's a it's a like a contemporary folk renaissance group I didn't know Richie Blackmore was into that. Oh, he, he, <laughs> like, I can tell you so many stories about Richie, like how many But he's been a lot of ran into him at, at one of the Connecticut fairs. Oh, he's, he's a place they were year. Yeah, he does. He's, he can make millions of dollars doing a, a deep purple reunion, a rainbow reunion. He wants nothing to do with it. He wants to play his renaissance music. That's cool. his thing. Cool. I have a lot of respect for somebody who stands by their passion and takes, chooses that over money. But anyway, I digress. So we had a lot of fans. Some of them were really, well, let's just put it this way. We call them blackheads. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, they're the first two rows of, every, and now mind you, we're playing for 10,000 people every night. And the first two rows are the same people, no matter what country you're in. <laughs> like, they're there. And so I became friends with a lot of these, these, these fans, these blackheads. And some of them were from Switzerland. And I said, you know, could you do me a favor when you go back to Switzerland? Could you look up my friend Angelique Bosquet and see if you can find her? And lo and behold, one of the fans found my friend Angelique. And we have... We've been in contact since then because, thank God, the internet got really good and Skyping and all that stuff. So Anjali got married uh, two years ago. Two years ago? Three years ago. Three years ago. Two years ago. Three. Three. Three years ago. And she said to me, you know, Maxi, could you, could you possibly write a wedding song for us? And I said, does it have to be in French? And she said, of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. I can write a song in French. Textbook. <laughs> Haven't spoken French since high school. And uh, I wrote her a song, and she loved it so much that instead of getting a gift the morning of the wedding, her fiance flew me and my husband to Switzerland so I could oh, sing yeah. it at the wedding. Oh. Yeah. So this is the song that I wrote. And in Switzerland, they all sang along with me. So, <laughs> and my husband John is like, "How did they know the words?" <laughs> like because they speak. <laughs> Does anybody speak French here? Sorry, good. <laughs> That's good. Awesome. I'm going to sound great on this one. <laughs> so, but if you do sort of get the melody, you can you can sing along. It's in English. It's promise me. Je te Je sais que tu... 